Hey there, and welcome to Studio Sessions. In today's session, we're going to introduce you to self-serve advertising on Spotify. You'll be hearing from me, Emily, the global head of SMB advertising, as well as my colleague, Helen, who will give you a deep dive into how our self-serve ad manager, Spotify Ad Studio, works. Before we jump into things, I have a few technical and housekeeping notes to share with all of you. You will not be seen or heard during the session. Your microphone and video will be turned off, but we will be listening to audio ad spots during the presentation. So please feel free to grab your headphones and enjoy the listening experience. Interaction is very welcome during the session. We want this to be as dynamic as possible. So if you have any questions, please use the Q&A window and submit your questions there. We will answer as many as we can throughout the session. For today's playlist, we'll give you a quick history lesson on Spotify advertising and talk about who's listening in our UK audience. We'll also give you a deep dive into Spotify Ad Studio, our self-serve ad manager, and how digital audio ads can benefit your business. To help you get on your way to creating ads for Spotify, we'll cover creative best practices. And we'll end with a panel Q&A, where you'll hear from some of our UK Ad Studio customers about their experiences on the platform. We're deeply invested in making our app platform drive results for advertisers such as yourself and help listeners discover new brands and products relevant to them. When we first started out in Spotify advertising back in 2010, our main goal was to funnel everyone to become Spotify premium user. In the last couple of years, we've been thinking about it much more from a brand's perspective, your brand's perspective. That means making investments into third-party capabilities as well as building out Spotify's own platform in the form of our own ad server and targeting. This has meant we're now deeply invested in making our ad platform drive results for all of our advertisers and help listeners discover new brands and products relevant to them. Some products you can expect from this year and next are things like podcast ads and enhanced targeting. To take advantage of what we've built, we recommend Spotify's self-serve ad platform as it delivers more for advertisers. While the concept of self-serve advertising is nothing new in social media advertising, in audio advertising, especially in radio, has not offered this at scale before. Spotify's self-serve ad platform, Ad Studio as we call it, allows you to have a better performance. Since you can make real-time optimizations based on data, Spotify's Ad Studio allows you to have more transparency and control versus traditional insertion orders. Since you can choose your own campaign objective and easily test and scale without having to wait for an account rep. And finally, Spotify's Ad Studio allows you to have more efficiency because it allows for multiple folks on your team to be working on an account at a given point in time with flexible workflows. Spotify's platform also delivers a better experience for our listeners. And we're able to do that with personalization. Based on our first party streaming data, we deliver personalized ad experiences tailored to listeners' interests. For contextual relevance, not only are our ads personalized to listeners, they're served across moments and devices where each listener is most receptive to the message, which leads to a better listening experience. And engagement. Our ad products and technology offer more opportunities for listeners to engage with and take action on the ads they hear. And our listener research has proved this out. 75% of listeners say they remember ads more when the ads recognize their moment or setting. And 61% of Spotify listeners say Spotify audio ads help them discover new brands and products. Because ads on Spotify aren't just ads, they're part of the show. When people immerse themselves in music or podcasts on Spotify, they trust us to know their taste and get their algorithm just right. And the same holds true for the ads they experience on our platform. As an advertiser, you're part of Spotify's listening experience. Today, Spotify is the world's most popular streaming platform. 
and we've built a trusted relationship with our audience and fans all over the world. Our listeners use Spotify to soundtrack their daily lives across a variety of content, contexts, and devices. There are more than 381 million people streaming music and podcasts on Spotify every single month. 200 million of those listeners are on the ad-supported platform, which means brands such as yourself can connect with them wherever and whenever they are streaming music. You can reach this audience worldwide. In the UK, we have over 25 million unique visitors, and our reach across the nation is continuously growing. Let's take a closer look at who's listening on Spotify within the UK. We have a super engaged audience in the United Kingdom. And it's no surprise that 49% of listening is done on mobile phones, 23% across desktop, 14% across tablets, and 14% on connected devices, including smart speakers and gaming systems. From a demographic perspective, about 49% of our listeners are female, and 51% of Spotify listeners are male. All right, now that you know about the scale of Spotify's platform and learn a little bit about who's listening in our audience, let's talk about how self-serve advertising works on Spotify. Hi everyone, I'm Helen Sarkisova, a growth account manager for self-serve advertising in the UK. I'm super pleased to be here with you today to walk you through a very exciting part of our business. So make yourselves comfortable and get ready to dive into the world of self-serve advertising at Spotify. It all starts in our ad manager, Spotify Ad Studio. Ad Studio gives advertisers of all sizes the tools to build and manage audio and video campaigns directly on Spotify with flexible budgets. But what else is great about it? Well, it does stand out with its powerful targeting options and within the total time frame of maximum 48 hours, your campaign is up and running and you can even get a professional audio ad produced for you free of charge. Furthermore, our real-time reporting dashboard helps you to stay in control and optimize your campaigns at any point. Self-serve is an effective solution for a variety of advertisers and campaign types on Spotify. But you should choose self-serve if you specifically have a smaller budget and you don't currently meet our direct sales team's minimum spend thresholds. You can still advertise on Spotify through Ad Studio. The minimum spend for self-serve advertisers is just £250. If you're new to digital audio and you want to test the channel in your marketing mix, Ad Studio is a fast and easy way to get started. Another scenario is if you haven't created digital audio ads before, you can tap into Ad Studio's free creative tools to make your own ad within 48 hours. Our free services include voiceover actors, background music, and professional recording and mixing. Self-serve advertisers also have the flexibility and control to campaigns in real time. This makes Ad Studio the perfect platform to run A-B creative tests, experiment with audience targeting, run multiple campaigns at once, or build a last-minute campaign. And, of course, if you prefer a do-it-yourself approach and you work with other self-serve ad platforms already, Spotify Ad Studio is the right choice for you. Ad Studio makes it quick and easy to create beautiful ads in minutes and reach your audience on Spotify. Here's how it works. Set your budget and select your audience. Select your target audience and reach listeners based on their age, gender, location, interests, real-time context, and even music or podcast taste. Select mobile, desktop, or both so your ad gets heard in the right context. Second thing, create your ad. Do you have an audio or video ad ready to go? Upload it directly. If not, use our free creative tools and services to create an audio ad. We'll record the voiceover and produce the ad for you free of charge. Then you have to control and customize your campaign. And you can easily adjust targeting, creative, and budget at any point in time throughout your campaign. And lastly, real-time reporting. Measure your campaign's performance to understand how people engage with your ads. To set up an ad through Spotify, Ad Studio is incredibly quick and easy. 
So let's talk a little bit more about creating audio ads. If you've never created for audio before, or if you don't have the resources to work with a creative agency, Ad Studio is here to help. So you want to share your story with an audio ad. We get it. No matter what your business looks like, your audience is listening on Spotify, and it's never been more important to be heard in the moment. But making a great audio ad can be frustrating, time-consuming, and pricey. Spotify Ad Studio makes it easy. With our free voiceover tool, you can create an ad from scratch in minutes, and we'll turn it around within 48 hours. Here's how it's done. First, select the background music that vibes with your message. You can pick from a catalog of licensed, free tracks recorded by independent artists. Or upload your own. Now it's time to tell your story. Write a script that tells us what you want your ad to say, exactly as it should be read by the voice actor. Having writer's block? Don't worry. We can help with some tips, tricks, and inspiration as you go to keep the words flowing. Next, select the language your ad should be read in and the voice actor profile you prefer. Then, provide some direction for your voice actor so they get the tone just right. Finally, add in a companion image, link, and call to action details so your listeners know what to do after they hear your ad. In just 24 to 48 hours, we'll send you your ad to review. Once you give it the green light, it's ready to be heard. Well, that does not seem too complicated, right? But let's hear from an advertiser who used Ad Studio's free creative tools and services to produce their audio ad, Primark. We are delighted to open our doors and welcome customers back to Primark. We're pressing play on summer. Our stores are fully stocked with fresh new season fashion and everyday must-haves that our customers love all at our great value prices. Safety continues to be our number one priority and we have extensive safety measures in place in our stores. We have also extended our store opening hours to give customers more time to shop safely. We look forward to seeing you soon. Discover more at Primark.com. As lockdown began to ease in the UK and retailers were allowed to reopen last year, Primark needed to reconnect with their customers. And Spotify was just the right channel to reach their 18 to 34 female target audience. With the help of Ad Studio's creative tools like free background music, voiceover actors, and professional recording and audio mixing, they could successfully run a campaign. And their campaign ran just in time to welcome shoppers back to their stores around England and Wales for summer specials. And it gave customers all the information they needed on safety protocols and updated operating hours. The overall results? Well, Primark saw strong engagement with this campaign, with an impressive 1.65% click-through rate from the audio ad. So to sum things up for you, we've put together a few best practices to keep in mind when creating your own audio ads. Include a call to action. Ads that have a direct call to action have click-through rates that are three times higher than those with none. Ask the listener to do something, such as tap to find a location, and they'll be more likely to engage with your ad. The second thing would be to get to the point quickly. Take advantage of the first few seconds to introduce yourself, your business, and the purpose of your ad. You also have to know your listeners. Ads that are personalized to the listener see higher engagement. Consider including a targeted approach to your messaging. For instance, if targeting London, Say London. And match your music. Adding music to ads is a natural fit with Spotify. Ads with the background music resonate, driving 4.3 times higher intent rate than ads without. And when selecting music, think about the type of music your audience listens to. We don't want to kill anyone's vibe. You can find more case studies and best practices on our website, ads.spotify.com. We've heard a few best practices for audio ads, but what about video ads? Let's kick off with an example from Grohe. Think about drinking water, traveling for miles, getting carried up and down, 
It's inconvenient and plastic is harming the environment. But there is a solution. The best water is already in your home, fresh, cool, still or sparkling. Served directly from your Grower Blue kitchen filter tap. It's made for British water. Grower Blue, made for your water. Creating video ads for Spotify is a little different than other channels. We are an audio-first environment, and therefore it's important that your video ads tell both a visual and an audio story. But here are some best practices to know. First thing, plan phones for sound on. Video ads on Spotify are served with sound on. Make your ads fit right into the Spotify experience by using sounds that enhance your message and match your audience's mood or moment, not disrupt their listening. Keep your branding front and center. Brand your ad right away visually with a logo and or audibly by saying your name within the first few seconds so it's clear to the viewer who you are and what you're offering them. Choose the right ad length. 30 seconds ads are great for emerging brands new campaigns or technical ads. They allow more space for storytelling, communicating benefits and education. Ads that are 15 seconds or less are ideal if you're a well-known brand, if you want to share a quick reminder or if you run always on campaigns. And lastly, remember, video production doesn't have to break the bank. High performing video ads on Spotify are possible at any budget level. In fact, Low-cost, low-fidelity ads perform just as well as big-budget productions when following best practices. Now, let's pause for a moment. Now that you've heard a bit about the history of Spotify advertising and you've been introduced to the self-serve advertising platform, Ad Studio, the time has finally come for our client panel. And what a panel we have with us today. With us today, we have Matthew Gittens, the Digital Marketing Manager at GrowHey, and we also have Natalie Walker, Media Planning Manager at Forward and Thinking. Welcome to this panel, guys. We're so excited to have you here. Could you maybe tell us a little bit more about yourselves? And as we are on Spotify, could you also share with us your number one streamed artists from, streamed artists from last year? Yes, certainly. So I'll go first. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew, just stepped in there. Um, <laughs> so my name's Natalie. I am the uh, media planning manager at Fold and Thinking. And what that means is I ensure that out of home campaigns are planned and executed according to client objectives. I work on a range of plans for clients across a number of sectors, predominantly education, utilities, healthcare leisure and communications right across the UK and even internationally. Um, my kind of top streamed artists are a bit of a mixed bag. So we've got a bit of Fleetwood Mac, a bit of Bieber, a bit of Lana Del Rey and The Weeknd. So yeah, nice mix. Whoa, <laughs> even The Weeknd was in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Nat uh, Natalie, and welcome um, to this panel here with us today. Matthew, what about you? I work for Grow, a leading global kitchen and bathroom solutions um, company. We're based in 150 countries, focused on quality, technology, design, and sustainability. Um, my top Spotify artist is Thames and also Brew Runway. So just a bit of amazing pop music. <laughs> Love Thames. It's not one of my top streamed artists but definitely they're on the list <laughs> thank you guys for the intro so are you ready to kick off the panel we have three questions in front of us uh, about your experience from the self-serve advertising platform ad studio are you ready yes let's, let's, do, it. <laughs> let's do it yeah let's do it great so um, natalie let's start with you what brought you to Spotify advertising in the first place? And what is your experience in this space? Okay, so the media landscape's constantly changing. And it kind of goes without saying that our clients specifically are always looking for the next best, best thing that's going to promote their message, that's going to fit within their budget, and obviously target their specific audience. Um, and the kind of the, the general growth in audio and video, along with the need for more, like, allowed us to um 
really hone in on Spotify. It's something that allowed us some measurability and accountability of spend. Um, so as a tool, it really allowed us to build campaigns in a few simple steps from literally an initial brief, providing clients have kind of got creative ready, we could have a campaign live almost instantaneously for them. Um, so I guess my experience of it is that it's super speedy, easy to use. And yeah, um, we, we, we came to using it just because it was great for reaching a younger audience profile. At the time, we had a lot of education clients that were looking to try and to tap into that space. Um, but obviously, as time's gone by, the streaming intelligence that Spotify is gathering has like allowed us to identify its suitability for a whole host of audiences. So it's something that we can use as a platform for a number of clients now. So, yeah. Great. Great. Thank you so much for sharing, Natalie. Sounds like it was a, a few different things, right? So it was a, obviously the, the speed and flexibility of the platform, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. but, but the audience, right? You had your audience on Spotify, which Definitely, made it a yeah. bit of a more clear option for you. Um, thank you so much. Uh, Matthew, what about you? Uh, for me, at, at Grow, we like to like experiment and learn with new platforms. So I think Spotify for us was like that chance to get our feet into the water of digital audio advertising, where we played a bit with radio, doing like industry specific advertisements for like plumbers, for example. Spotify allowed us to like reach a larger audience of people where they are and where we want them to be as well. So it was like a great um, way into audio advertising. Also like my colleague, Ibru, she was the one listening to Spotify and heard an ad and it got stuck in her head. So we thought this is the perfect thing to do, like get a cashy ad going and, you know, it'll get the brand out there and people will probably remember it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, everything gets a bit more vibey with some music, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and um, cool. So it sounds like we're all kind of, or you are both united or aligned on the fact that the audience of Spotify is something that kind of, specifically caught your eye and then of course the, the platform itself the, the ease and the flexibility of the platform um so how would you say that you actually use spotify advertising today to tell your your brand's uh, story um, so we can actually maybe start with you matthew this time how, how do you use spotify advertising today to get the grow hey brand out there I think for us is more of an extension of our already existing storytelling. So with promotions, we might have image only. So uh, Spotify is a great way to get that emotional feel out there through audio. Um, and especially where it's topics around like sustainability and you want to help self-care is a great way to like tell a really good story through listening and music and I think that was the biggest thing for us with Spotify is that you can push it a bit further than, oh, just doing social media advertising or PPC or display advertising. So for us, that's what it really was. Mm -hmm. Understand. Thank you. And, and what about you, Natalie? Well, I can very much echo what Matthew's saying there. For us, Spotify allows us to tell, you know, multiple brand stories at any given time. Um, and it is very much an extension of an already existing campaign, or we use it as a standalone campaign as well. Um, we predominantly use the audio feature, which obviously has a voiceover and a track accompanied with it. And then you have the visual prompt of the clickable static display unit with the URL conversion tracking, which is what we need in this you know, day and age. People are wanting accountability for all of the, the marketing that they are kind of putting out there. Um, we do use the, the video function, and that's obviously fantastic to really immerse people um, into that space. Um, particularly, you know, our education clients love the audio and video elements together. We've seen some great success with those, those campaigns, like running alongside each other, just because it gives you that kind of full, well-rounded experience as a listener to, to really kind of immerse yourself in. And also, it's getting pe into people's personal spaces. So, so yeah, it's it's one of those that 
we are using as a standalone tool um, for some campaigns, but it also it's it's really kind of adding to the full marketing mix for any campaigns that we're pulling together. Sounds good. Um, thank you so much for sharing, both of you. It's it's so interesting to hear about your experiences of the platform and how you obviously are are using it today and the fact that you're both like different we have Matthew from Grow Hay obviously a, a shower system and, and kitchen taps and then we have a uh, you Natalie from Forward and Thinking which is you know an independent agency so it's just two different ways of how you can actually utilize the platform which is yeah just interesting to hear about um but we're gonna kick off uh, we actually gonna round things off, not kick off. I'm way too excited. I want to continue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously, we're, we're going to round things off uh, with actually the last question uh, for today. And where I would like to hear a little bit about, you know, what are the key benefits that you both have identified in specifically, if you, if you just mention two things, right, that you have identified um, with using Spotify advertising uh, via um, and, and going through the self-serve platform specifically? What are the, the top two main advantages you've identified there? I, for me, personally, I think it is one, targeting. I think the way you can target through the platform with as specific as you want or not is great because you can get people based on their mood, their interests, real type context. And I think that's like one of the biggest, best benefits of um, Swipe Advertising. And then also the ease of use and how easy it is to get an ad up running within 24 hours if you, you, you're you ready and prepared. Um, so those are definitely the top two things for me. Yeah, same for me, really. From a functionality point of view, the user experience of the platform is really, really good. It's so easy to get a campaign up and running, but also once your campaign's live and at once it's completed, you've got full visibility of the dashboard and you can see how well it's pacing and you're able to actually kind of pause it or stop it at any point to make any efficiencies if you want to. So you really have that, that opportunity to tailor it to whatever may be successful kind of other, other elements within your campaign that may be successful that you kind of or less successful where you're thinking, actually, I want to pump a little bit more budget into this. We know that it's delivering clicks and it's getting really good engagement. Um, it also gives you visibility to take away key learnings um, when the campaign's complete. So, you know, you know what, what's worked well for future campaigns. So they're kind of the really, really standout features for me is that actually the pacing element and the accessibility via the dashboard to be able to, to see instantaneously how well it's performing, um, how many impressions have been served, you know, and, and obviously mm. see when it's when it's going to be ending. For us, we have multiple Spotify campaigns that are running at any one time for different range, a different range of clients. So we need to make sure that we have that visibility. And mm. there are a lot of platforms out there at the moment that don't give agencies that visibility of, of its performance until the very end of a campaign. So it means that we're able to essentially at least give good feedback to our clients whilst it's ongoing rather than at the end. Mm. Makes sense. You, 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 you both seem quite aligned. You just brought up different things, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the, the real-time reporting is definitely um, a, a key thing on the platform and it helps for sure And when you're working with um, loads of clients at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, Great. Well, guys, it was amazing to have you here um, and we're, we're super happy that you could attend this webinar as panelists. And if you don't have any last words or any other insight you want to share with, the, with our audience today, we're pretty much done here. Thanks for having us. Right. Thank you for having us. Yeah. And Thank you yeah. so much, guys. Keep yeah. rocking it, Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Helen, Natalia, and Matthew, for that panel discussion. And thank you to all of our advertisers for joining us today and for submitting your thoughtful questions throughout the session. To summarize what you have heard from us today, Spotify is the world's most popular streaming platform, and our addressable market continues to grow. Our self-serve ad platform, Ad Studio, delivers more value for advertisers and better experiences for our listeners. 
Spotify's unique first-party insights, fuel your ads, and people's personalized listening experiences. Which means advertisers such as yourself can connect with your customers in more of the moments that matter. Ad Studio helps advertisers of all sizes to be heard on Spotify. And Spotify's self-serve solutions make it easy to build and manage campaigns, create professional audio ads for free, and grow your business. Thank you again for your time today and your interest in Spotify advertising. We will follow up with content from today's webinar and additional information to everyone who joined over email this afternoon. We hope that this session has provided you with the tools and information you need to create your next self-serve advertising campaign on Spotify. For more tips and information, as well as some inspiration from some of our other UK advertisers, head to ads.spotify.com. Here, you will find a help center for additional support, as well as news and insights and inspiration with plenty of creative tips, best practices, and success stories.